Welcome to Victory. Today we're exploring a super unique sports themed island. If you're looking for some inspiration surrounding the sports themed items in Animal Crossing New Horizons, you won't want to miss this tour today. Lots of lovely inspiring overlooks and lots of different builds filled with interior decorating as well as lots of fun perspective builds and I can't wait to see all of the adorable jock villagers wandering around this super creative island. It's definitely number one in my book and it'll for sure have you screaming for more once you're able to see all of these amazing build ideas. Let's head over to the airport and get going. I can't wait to share the incredible island of victory with you guys. Hey guys, it's Danny Bell. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're back doing another subscriber island tour and I'm so excited to share the island of victory with you guys. This is a sports themed island and I'm so excited because this is something I've never seen before in the Animal Crossing community. This island is created by our friend and subscriber Matilda. You can find her on Instagram at Lilimini. So please pop over there and give her a follow if you haven't already. She's got lots of amazing and unique themed islands on her Instagram page. Let's check out the map of Victory. Here's the dream address. So if you'd like to follow along on today's tour, and I hope you will, here is the dream address as well as all of the cute villagers that she has. It looks like they're jocks. I love the jock villagers, you guys. I think they're really cute. I like their attitude. They're always like really super motivated, obviously, and just really friendly type of villagers. I even see Antonio, who happened to be our starter on Ponybell, our current island that we're working on in the channel. Just a lot of really friendly faces. Um, Rudy is super cute. I think he's one of my faves. Let me know in the comments, who is your favorite jock villager in Animal Crossing New Horizons? Let me know in the comments, because I always love to hear from you guys. All right, so she did leave us a cute little outfit. There's some prezzies here, so depending on um, if you want to change into one of the little outfits, there's a few different cute options. She also left a little protein shake, which I think we're going to carry around. This is just totally adorable. <laughs> yes, love it. Love this little cheerleading outfit. And fun fact, I was a cheerleader in high school. I loved it. It was actually like one of my fave things in life. I, I totally enjoyed that experience. So this outfit is super perfect. All right, we're going to head in this direction. Oh my gosh, this is super cute. Look at all the little items. She has this little vending area set up. And we're going to head up here first because I honestly wasn't sure which direction to start in. But I see there's a villager home in this little house. And all of the little villager houses are redecorated. So we're going to pop in and see as many as we can on today's tour. Oh, is this Antonio? Stop it. Is this a bowling alley? Oh my gosh, I love his house. I love this. Look at this pattern that she has. The custom design on the wall with the bowling pins is just too cute. You know, I've always wondered, I don't know why we don't have a bowling ball in the game. We should totally have some more bowling items, like legit bowling items in the game. But I love how she has set this up. This looks so amazing. She's got the little ball return over here and the shoes set up. And I love that she's used that light up sign on the wall with the X's for strikes. Oh my gosh, this looks perfect. This looks so good. And his trophies, his proud, his proudly displayed trophies in the trophy case over there. Bud, your house is stellar. I love this. Look at this. Antonio. Oh my gosh. And the vending machine. Yeah. So, so perfect. Wow. I believe she's represented so many different sports on this island. Um, so I'm very thrilled to kind of see how she set up all these different areas. But yeah, this is looking stellar so far already. I don't, know about, I don't know about you guys, but I'm always looking for some fun interior ideas as well. <gasps> Check this out. Okay, so if you guys have been watching the channel, we have been working on Pony Bell, which is a My Little Pony themed island with all horses. We're doing all the same species, single species island. And this horse jumping area on Matilda's Island is what inspired our most recent build on Pony Bell. We did a horse stable with a horse jumping area because when I saw this on Instagram I was like oh my gosh this is such a cute idea I love how she's done this with all these different items creating these these obstacles for the horses to jump over oh my gosh it just looks so amazing really really love this so Matilda thank you for all the amazing inspiration you are always bringing so many clever ideas to the Animal Crossing community and that one is just top-notch we have a little billiard area over here this looks really cute I love that like a great way to spend the day we're actually i think gonna try to head down and check out that horse jumping area a little bit closer too so we're gonna head over there and check that out as well oh look at the little stall with the horses 
That is precious. And I like the little crowds too on this field sign that she has over here. I love that. I kind of forget about that item sometimes. That's a really great item to use. She's placed the little handheld flags on the sides of the jumps. And I like the variety that she used too. She's using everything from the hedge fence to the plant partitions. And it looks like she's using some of the cube lights and maybe some of the, I forget what this item is called. It's like a little square side table. Looks so good. And the Mario block too. That's such a genius way to use that item. Oh my gosh, this looks so epic. <laughs> I love this. Right, we're gonna head up in this direction. I know there's a few different overlooks on this island, so I'm really excited to kind of see what else she's done. The campsite, oh my gosh, cute. Cute little area for the campsite. I like this path too, this very rustic sort of dirt path with the little crosswalks is a really great idea for this island. It's always nice when you can find a nice, like natural, cohesive path that you can sort of use all throughout the island and this one looks fantastic. We're gonna sneak back by where we were and we're gonna head in this direction so we can kind of go off to the right side a little bit because I think there's some more villager houses over here. Who lives here? Sparrow, aww. So for sure, if you guys have a chance to come visit the stream in person, and I really hope you do, be sure to pop into some of these other villager homes of any of the ones that aren't home while we're visiting today because I'm sure that those interiors look super stellar as well. Whose house is this? Rudy! <gasps> Of course he has a sporting goods store. This is precious. Look at this. I love this addition to his house to kind of create an extension faux building. Yeah, this looks amazing. I love this. And all of the sports equipment sort of here out front advertising his store. This looks adorable. I really, really love this. We're going to finish our protein shake because, you know, usually you can't bring outside food and drink into a store. But we're gonna head inside and check this out, but how cute is this? I love that she's used the baseball mitt chair over there in the green. It looks really cute. I just love the concept for this island. What a great use for all these sports items. I never realized there were so many sports items in the game. <gasps> Rudy, hi bud, look at this, it looks so amazing. Look at all of his items, look at all the shoes. Got like a whole wall full of kicks on the on there in the back and some skateboards and bicycles. Oh my gosh, this looks great. How super cute is this? This little checkout area. Wow, I love it. Love, love, love. I wonder if he's running any good sales. Based on the sign, it looks like he's running some discounts for the week. <laughs> I love it. I love how she sort of incorporated the green tonations too to kind of go with the signage and tie everything in for the island, but this looks really stellar. I love it. Very cute. All right. Looking great. I love this. Oh my gosh. Little play area over here too. It's a great use of that space. And her Able Sisters is over here. I love that she sort of added some of the sports items in the front. It can be really difficult. I know whatever is for sale that day, whenever you upload your dream is sort of what's showcased in that front window at Able Sisters. So if you happen to be able to plan your dream based on that, that can work out really, really well. But I love that she added that that little um, stall in the front with the shoes, the athletic shoes. Another cute little yard over here. And more houses it looks like. Oh, I wish these villagers were home. This is super cute with the log cabin though. The storefront, Sheldon. Aww. I'll have to come back by there later. Some of these villagers, they need to head home. They need to head on home so we can see their interiors. Look at this. <gasps> the rock climbing wall. You know, confession time. I feel like I have used these rock climbing walls backwards as ways to kind of create faux buildings so much that I oftentimes forget that they should technically be used as rock climbing walls in the game. And this looks awesome. I love this little rock climbing area. Super cute. And look at this little area. Oh, she's got a little juice area where you can just sit at the beach. This is adorable. Very, very cute. All right, we're going to head back in this direction. Head up here. There's a little pink area, too. I love that everything's sort of in the green tonation. Really great for spring, but it just goes really well with the theme of the island that she's created. I see another view over here, too. 
What? Um, excuse me? Excuse me? Are we even playing the same game? Because this is epic. Look at this raceway. She's created like this NASCAR type raceway back here with the the checkered flag finish, li finish line and the tires. Oh my gosh. How cute is this? I can't. I love this so much. What a great use of the race car beds. How precious. I love this, Matilda. You have just, I mean, all your islands are amazing, but this one is just so, so good. And a little baseball diamond. <gasps> How cute is this? I love this idea. This is too precious. She even has a little dugout area on the side with the little, what are they called? Retro transportation stops? Oh my gosh. How cute. It's just so cute. It's the most precious baseball diamond I've ever seen. And Lyman's over here. Hi, bud. He's playing a little, are you playing a little one-on-one? -on -one? Playing horse over here? <laughs> Practicing his free throws, I think. Probably. Very cute. I love this. really really cute all right we're gonna head in this direction i feel like we have a few more overlooks to check out but i want to see this back part because i don't want to miss anything a little picnic spot that's cute i feel like it's hard sometimes to come up with ideas on how to fill in these small areas on your island but these are just so cute look at this tiny spot on the back of her island and she's created this driving range area with these golf bags i mean how genius is this this looks amazing what a great use of this space so clever right we're gonna head back here this is the very back of the island and it looks like this is almost like a little carnival area like a boardwalk i love this could get sports jerseys for sale over here and i love that everything is sort of again in the green tonation get some of your snacks to grab before you go to any of the sporting events on the island secret beach i love that she has that kind of roped off too that's very cute the foosball table. Oh my goodness, I love this. Is that a villager? Alright, we're going to cut back this way because I don't want to miss anything. I think we need to backtrack just slightly so we can kind of head over and see some other views before we see that beach area over there on that side. So we're going to head in this direction. Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is so cool! Stop it. Stop it right now. This is epic. Okay, this might be my favorite build so far. <gasps> it's a football field, you guys! Look at them. What are they called? The nesting dolls? That's not the official name, but look at how she's created a crowd with the staircase dresser, I think it's called, and then she's sat the nesting dolls on top to look like a crowd at the football game. This is so cute. I can't. It's like cuteness overload. And FYI, like football is probably my favorite sport to watch. My husband and I watch a ton of football, American football, when we are like in the fall and winter season. It's definitely our favorite sport. It's for sure um, something we love to watch. We root for the Steelers, the Pittsburgh Steelers. And oh my gosh, totally adore this build. This just looks so good. I love this. What a fantastic idea. But let me know in the comments, what is you guys' favorite sport? What do you like to watch? What do you like to play? Let me know in the comments because I always love to hear from you guys. And it's really just great kind of getting to know y'all and learning a little bit about what you enjoy. What is this? Oh, is this like a little betting area? <laughs> a little sports betting area? All right, this is our side. This is the side hustle piece on the island right here. You can do your little betting with the bells machine. <laughs> it's cute. The trophy, that's cute. Love that so much. I love the um, the nesting dolls in the distance too. It's very convincing as a crowd of people. <gasps> Is this a pool? Oh my gosh, y'all, there's a miracle happening right now. <laughs> Our little friend over here um, is like walking on water. <laughs> Y'all are witnessing a miracle right now. Look at this, though. I love this. She has actually dropped some of the Christmas ornaments onto the pool code, and it looks amazing. She's done this to sort of create the lanes in the pool, and it looks amazing. 
What a clever, clever way to create this build. And I just love how this came together. It looks stellar. Super genius. I'm gonna head over here. Oh, a little mini golf area and it's on the peninsula. Okay, all right. I keep saying that all these builds are my favorite, but this might be my new favorite. <laughs> I love this. Okay, fun fact. So the very, very, very first video on the Peppy Crossing channel, on this channel, was a mini golf course build. And that was, gosh, we're going on three years, believe it or not, you guys. May 8th will be the three-year anniversary of the channel, which is so exciting. Um, and we did a little mini golf course build on the beach of our original Honeybell Island, which was so long ago. But it was such a fun build. And Matilda, you have, like, nailed this. This looks amazing. This is super stellar. This this looks so good. I love that she's used the pearls to drop his little golf balls. And this pattern, this custom design pattern that she's found to make these, these putt-putt holes. Oh my gosh. This looks so stellar. I love this. How cute is this in the trophies with, a, with the confetti machine? I can't even take it. It's just too cute. This looks so good. I can't even imagine how long it took her to get these trophies, too. Like, I know how much work goes into those bug championships. Like, the... Whatever it's called. When you have to meet Flick and do, like, the tournaments, rather, to get these trophies. Like, I love this. This looks amazing. Let's take a little better picture over here so you guys can see this. But this looks amazing. I love this. The way that she set this up, it just looks perfect. What a great photo op, too. Like, if you have people visiting your island huge fan of this. This looks so cute, Matilda. I can't. You have just knocked it out of the park like super home run. It looks so good. Super adorable for this rock too with the table tennis. Oh, it's so cute. All right. I know I've said that a million times on this tour, but this looks epic. I love this. Look at this little area too with the boats, like a little boating race area. Like a yacht race. Yeah. I love that too. What a great idea to use that vertical beach. Little kettlebell weight area. Let's see what else is on this beach over here. Oh, her cranny is over here. And she's even got a little spot for um, CJ for his fishing tournament. Such a great idea. Oh my goodness, this looks so cute. Look at the little cookie cart. I love that little fortune cookie cart. That item you can get if you... Oh, a friend! Matthew! Hey there, champ. <laughs> hey, Matthew. We do actually have two houses that we're going to explore on this island, so we'll be sure to pop into both of them to see the interiors. But I was going to say that cookie cart you can get by playing up to a certain level on Pocket Camp, and then you can use the code in the Nintendo shop store to be able to get that code at your Nook's kiosk in, in Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's really great. We're going to pop in here. Oh, Hamlet. <laughs> little buddy. Look at him. He's got his little spot where he can sit and watch his sports shows. Too cute. Is he watching Sports Center? I wonder. Maybe ESPN. I'm not really sure which, but probably one. One or the other. <laughs> This is adorable. I love the worn wallpaper too. That's a really nice touch. He's got sort of like retro vibes up in here. Like just a bachelor. Little bachelor guy hanging out. He's got his trophies like sort of living in the past probably. Sort of like an Uncle Rico vibe if you guys are Napoleon Dynamite fans. <laughs> so cute. Totally love this. This is adorable. I love this little juice bar too by the way. That looks very cute. Right, we're going to run past here and check out this front part. I think this is like a track and field area, maybe like a long jump. <gasps> what a great idea. Oh, this is cute. I love this. Well, we got to test it out. We're going to go over here and try it. Ready? Go! <laughs> here we go! I wish we could like actually have the jump action. <laughs> I keep thinking of like the days of Mario and you could actually jump. Yay, we did it. All right. Maybe we didn't get gold, but I think maybe we achieved silver, perhaps. Maybe. We'll have to see. Super cute. Oh, look at this archery. Ooh, this is awesome. I love this. 
I really like that bow and arrow set. I kind of forget about that item. It was a 2.0 item that was added, but I love that she sort of added this custom design with the bullseye and the arrow. That looks really cute with this. And I love that it's sort of in, a, in the distance to give that perspective. Yeah, I love this. And I like that this area is sort of more nature-y as well. What a great idea to sort of incorporate the nature area of the island with this. It's just a really nice dichotomy for this section of the island. I love it. Look at this tiny, cute little bridge. This is, is this not the cutest little bridge you've ever seen? I love it. Just kind of give you a close-up view of this so you can see how she put this together. But this looks just beautiful. Just some lovely flowers and trees and vines. And I love the waterfalls in the background too. Oops, we're kind of stuck. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Let's jump across. Yeah, I love this. Really gorgeous. Head back here. There's even a little coffee truck. Is this like a little coffee truck? Yeah, I do love a good coffee truck. Always in favor of that for sure on an island. Ooh, and her museum. <gasps> okay, so she did mention that her museum is like two stories high. And look at how she has created the look of a two-story museum. She's used curtains. The curtain partition with the custom design to sort of look like that same red banner. What? Like, this looks amazing. I love that. It really does give the illusion that her museum is two stories high. I kind of am thinking, like, it's giving, like, um, Hall of Fame vibes. Like, you know, if there's a famous athlete or sports person, sports figure, they tend to get nominated and inducted into, like, a Hall of Fame for their sport that they're famous for. Like, we've, my family and I, we have visited um, the Football Hall of Fame that is in Ohio and we had so much fun visiting that. It was such a great trip. Like we got to see the Super Bowl trophy and see all kinds of really awesome memorabilia in the NFL football um, world. It was just super stellar. Like they even had the weekend's blazer that he wore at the Super Bowl halftime show there and like Carrie Underwood's dress that she, she wears for when she sings the title song for Monday Night Football. Like it was just really, really cool to see that, so sort of the vibe that the museum gives off. I love that. All right, what's over here? Soccer field, I love it. I love this. And of course, for anyone over in like Europe, I know y'all call it football over there. Here in the US, we just call it soccer, but yeah, I love this. This soccer or football field, this looks so good. Super cute. Love that. All right, let's head in this direction because I think we might have missed something up here and I'm gonna backtrack just to make sure we didn't love all these little villager neighborhoods she's done such a great job like kind of tucking all the villager houses away I love that I really am torn sometimes I love the idea of a full-on neighborhood clumping all the houses together but I love how she sort of put a few here and there together so there's like multiple little neighborhoods of houses in this on this island <laughs> it looks awesome really love this Here's the plaza. Oh, she's got another court over here. What is this? <gasps> a tennis court. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. I love this. <gasps> what a great tennis court this is. Yeah, this looks great. I love it. Totally love it. Epic. Okay, we're gonna head to the beach over here. What's over here? Oh, bikes. Look at the little bike tracks. Stop it. Look at the tire tracks. This pattern that she's used in the sand to create the tire tracks from the bikes is just adorable. I really love the details like that. And I can so appreciate all the detail that Matilda puts in her builds. It really does have like this special effect that adds just an extra touch to her builds. Makes it look super awesome. I love that. Another little snack bar over here. This looks super cute and a great use for a rock. I feel like this is the type of build you could do on any themed island. But I love the idea of the athletes coming over here to kind of like have a little snack in between. Love that. Maybe have some Wheaties, a bowl of Wheaties. <laughs> and a surf area. Oh, this is cute. Look at the little announcer chair area with the microphone and the roster list over here on the clipboard. And of course, a trophy. 
But I love this little mm -hmm. surf area with the surfboards and the finish line. And then it looks like she even has like a changing area over here, which is such a nice touch. The wetsuit. <laughs> this looks great. I love it. Love, love, love. And a little beach volleyball court too, of course. Yeah, that's cute. Gotta have the beach volleyball. Speaking of, are you guys excited for the Summer Olympics in Paris? I cannot wait. I really do enjoy watching the Olympics on TV. I'm not sure which is my favorite. I think growing up, I most enjoyed the Winter Olympics because I loved watching the ice skating, but I really do enjoy watching the Summer Olympics. I love watching the gymnastics and of course the basketball team. Um, yeah, really looking forward to watching that. Oh, it's Matthew again. <laughs> You know what, I don't think we've seen Matilda yet in this tour, so I hope we do run into her before we finish up for the day. We just have a couple more places to see. We do need to see the player houses and maybe a couple more spots and then I think we'll be wrapping up. So hopefully we'll, we'll run into Matilda before we wrap up the tour, but let's go in this player house and see how it looks. I love the outside. I love the log cabin with the double peak roof. Probably one of my favorite house roof lines in the game. Oh, this is cute. It's a little locker room. Okay, so one of the things Matilda is super good at is she is so clever on how she does the wall partitions in her houses. And I just love this because I feel like sometimes we can feel very pressured to decorate every single room in our house, which for me at least can feel super overwhelming. And I love that she gets very clever with how she partitions off her rooms and she'll cleverly sort of block off any of the rooms that she doesn't want to decorate and it just looks so amazing I love this it really does look like a locker room we've got the dropped socks and just like the supplies over here in the corner it looks so cute I love how she did this and of course we can go downstairs into the basement and check that out <gasps> oh my gosh it's a boxing ring okay I had to ring the bell <laughs> <laughs> we better sit down. There's a little um, first aid kit over there, of course, to patch up the boxers at the end. I love this wallpaper, too. It sort of reminds me of, like, the original Nintendo. There was some sort of, like, boxing game that you could get for the original Nintendo system, and it was super primitive, y'all. It was, like, I don't know, like, very highly pixelated, but it was such a funny game and it totally is reminding me of that. But I love the animation on this wallpaper. So I'm really excited that she used these items and created this space on the island because I feel like no sports island would be complete without this and it just looks amazing. All right, let's check out the upstairs. <gasps> Ooh, I like this. This is sort of like a home gym, sort of like a workout space. This looks really great. I love it got a treadmill we've got like some tvs and she's even got the Wii fit in the back over there which i love she's got like a snack and refreshment area over here and a little couch so you can just relax like take a little break in between reps i guess <laughs> this looks really great and i love it got all the different machinery weight bench over here and ooh, the yoga mats okay this is my jam i'm not one usually to like work out honestly y'all i do like using the treadmill to go for walks and I love yoga so I feel like this is definitely where I would be spending my time yeah oh there's even yoga on the tv okay perfect perfect timing yoga's coming on we can use that I love all of like the apps nowadays that you can use where you can do a membership and have like guided yoga any of the guided like running and walking and like biking like all of the Peloton stuff is so popular now. I think it's super amazing that there's all that stuff that exists where you can go online and find your besties. And it just has like such a huge sense of camaraderie. I feel like it's definitely works, I think, well to keep people motivated. And I just love that. Oh, look at her little um, post office. She always has a very cute post office on her islands. And no doubt, this is where all of the sports scholarships are being mailed out. <laughs> super cute. All right, here's the other player house, so let's pop in and see what this one looks like. Whoa, what? Oh my gosh, this is crazy cool. Okay, so she's got a little sofa. It's like almost like a little like man cave. I love this, and we're going to break down the fourth wall sort of in this, and I'm going to show you sort of how she has behind this, how she has sectioned this off, so you can see what I mean about what I was saying. I love how she does this. She sort of boxed in this small little space for this. 
to create this look of this tiny little room in her main room of her player house, and I really, really adore this idea. So if you are feeling overwhelmed with your player house and you just want to do a small little section, totally try out this technique. I completely love this. Then all you have to do is the one little section exactly how you want, and then you can just do the upstairs. This looks really great too. It's like a little sports bar. Oh, I love this. Yes, we love this. <laughs> Look at the little mitt chairs. I kind of forget about that dart game too. That looks really, really great. And you can get like a little smoothie up here, hang out, have a snack, get some infused water. I really love how she's decorated this space. It looks great. I love those hanging menu signs. It all just looks so great. It works so well together, all of these decorating items. Wow, I love this. What a great idea. This whole idea for this island is just great. And look at how she's used the custom designs on those hanging signs, the Sprite and the Lay's chips. <gasps> Stop, that's so cute. This just came together so beautifully, Matilda. I love this. This island is just so, so, so clever. I love it. Wow, I love it. This house is so fantastic. I love how that came together. All right, I think we already saw the beach, so we're just going to head in this direction and just double check that we didn't miss anything before we wrap up the tour for today because I want to make sure we didn't miss any few little areas before we finish up. This, of course, is where you wake up at resident services. And, oh, there's a villager house here. Love the cardboard furniture. That looks great. It looks like we have skateboards. So let's pop in. <gasps> oh, is this Scoot? Oh, that makes perfect sense. Of course, so he has the helmet. So that makes perfect sense that he would be the skateboarder on the island. This looks stellar. I love that she did this. And check out how she's used the solar panel. It's sort of like a skateboard ramp. That is a very clever way to do that. She's got the graffiti wall and it's got a very urban vibe in here, which is perfect. And I just really love how she's used how she's used that item to kind of look like a ramp. It looks really, really good. I love it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, love that. That's a great idea on how to create an outdoor build like that as an interior. It turned out perfect. Go by this little neighborhood just to see if there's any more villagers home so we can check out any other interiors. And it looks like there's one more. So let's pop in and check out who lives here. Oh, look at him. He's adorable. He's got a little billiard hall. This is cute. I love these custom design pa uh, patterns that she's found too for this island. I feel like they're perfect. She really is so thoughtful about the different patterns that she chooses for her islands. And this, of course, is no exception. I love this. All of KK's different records that go with the vibe in this house look fantastic on the wall. And then she's got the billiards balls and sticks over there um in the glow in the dark sticker stickers customized on the wall it looks fantastic wow i wish there were more villagers home so we could see some of the other interiors but again i hope that if you're able to come visit this island in person you're you'll be able to pop in and see the few houses that maybe we didn't get a chance to see as we were roaming around her island today and speaking of there's matilda you look like a winner oh thanks bestie you're so sweet <laughs> <laughs> well, your island is the winner. I have to say, like, A+, plus, number one, you get a gold medal because this island has been so much fun to explore today. I hope you all enjoyed the tour. I really did. I hope you got some inspiration to take back to use on your islands. Just as a reminder, you can find me on Instagram at Peppy Crossing Play. Um, I just have had so much fun, and I love posting about all of the different islands that we've been visiting for tours, as well as any progress on Pony Bell, which is the My Little Pony Pink City Island we've been working on in the channel. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe on the YouTube channel here. If you're enjoying this type of content, it really, truly does mean the world to me. One more time, here is the map of Victory with the dream address. So I hope that you will come and visit in person and just take some time meandering around um, to see any more details that we might have missed here on today's tour because this is just really such a great island. Like I said, so much great inspiration. So if you're looking for different filler areas for your island or if you're looking to do a sports themed island yourself or maybe just fill in some of the areas with sports areas on your multi themed island, there's just so much inspo here that Matilda has curated on her island Victory. 
Once again, I just wanted to say thank y'all so much for all of your continued support on the channel. It really truly does mean the world to me. All right, guys, that's all for today. Wishing y'all an amazing day. Take care and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.